Welcome to my channel and my resin lab. I'm here getting ready to print out my very first print on the Illegal Saturn 4 Ultra. I didn't want to bore you with another unboxing video, but I do want to show you everything I picked up in case you're looking to get one and you live in an apartment or you have limited space. First off, this is the Illegal Saturn printer I picked up. I ended up going with this printer because the reviews on the print quality were amazing. I made the purchase on Amazon, but if you want it a bit cheaper, check out the manufacturer's website. I notice it's slightly cheaper there. The next item I picked out was the Illegal Mercury X wash and curing station. For the resin, I also went with the Illegal brand. I picked vanilla as my resin color and I went with this combo that had a funnel with a screen. I wanted a screen to help filter out any chunks when pouring it back into the container. And since I live in Michigan and it's winter, I also picked up the Illegal Smart Heater to help keep the resin at a good temperature. And if you're wondering, here's where the heater is mounted. You just need to remove those four screws. And now for the enclosure. To be honest, I didn't look around much, but I knew I wanted one with an exhaust fan on it. Although the fan is a bit smaller than a PC fan, it does a job of pulling out the fumes, and I like that it has a controller to adjust the fan speeds. Now let me show you the lab. I pushed my monitors as far as I could to one end of my desk to make room for the printer. By the window, I have the curing and washing station set up. The exhaust I had to rig a bit. The other tubing you see is from an air conditioning unit which fits into the window and stretches across to close out the remaining gap in the window. Since I didn't record it, I'll put a picture and show you how I added extra painters tape around the edges to help the air stay out. Here's how it looks. For the enclosure, it fits the printer very nice with plenty of room to open the top and almost two inches of space after opening the lid. There's also plenty of room to put other tools in here. It also came with this really nice drip tray. It should help keep some of that resin out when you're removing your prints. These are the tools that it came with. A plastic and metal spatula, some gloves, and a face mask. I'm getting ready to do my first test print now and I'm looking at the settings to make sure I've set them according to what is recommended in the bottle. The exposure time of 3.5 and the bottom exposure of 35 seconds. And just one more thing before the print. This is cult3d.com where I've been finding all sorts of free 3D prints. This is one of the characters that made me want to buy the printer. Just look at all that detail. If you don't know him, he's from World of Warcraft and his name is Buon Sandi, and he's the Loa of Death. So I'm capturing this real quick if you're having issues finding it. I was following the directions on the booklet and it's telling me here to go to their website and download the Cheetu Manager, but I couldn't find it. I eventually hit the network sending and a window popped up asking me to download the Cheetu Manager. So while that finishes downloading, I'm gonna fill up the reservoir so it's ready for the first print. Now the Cheetu Manager is installed and it seems to be a different program which is a little bit odd. And now I need to locate the printer in this program. Uh, there it is. So I'm turning on the time lapse, which turns on the recording for the print. The only downside I'm reading here is that the model has to be 50 millimeters of height or more in order for it to record. All right, now let's hit this network sending button to see how it works. Printer's offline, oh, there we go. Send. Okay, write successful. Let's see if the file is over in the printer now. All right, so now the printer, local file, rook, and let's hit print. We're in business. And once that started, I went ahead and turned up the fan speed to about, uh, about 80% there. And now I'm just gonna let this do its thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, very clear. 
Um, it's actually pretty blurry. So it's going to take about three hours and 30 minutes just to print this single part out. So we'll just let this happen and we'll come back in a bit. Okay, well I'm not exactly sure what went down in there while I left, but I can see something went wrong. And I think at this time, I don't know what happened, so I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just going to restart it and just check the part every few percent just to make sure that everything's printing correctly. All right, so we're at the second print and it's about 60% complete. So I'm gonna pause this print and just take a look at it to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to. I'm very excited to see this. It's my first print and it looks freaking great. So I showed up just in time as it was finishing up and really, I can't wait to get this out of here and see the finished part. It took a total of 1 hour and 48 minutes to complete. Not bad. After getting it off the plate, my first impressions of the print are very good. Now let's get it over to the washing station. Since it's a small piece, I'm assuming it doesn't need to be washed for very long. So I'll just set a timer for 1 minute. Okay, so the wash is complete and we can see more detail on this a lot better now that it's been washed. So now I'm going to pet it dry some and place it in the curing station for one minute too. Oh, nice. Let me grab this real quick. So the curing finished up and I'm very happy about this purchase. Even with such a basic print, it's hard to believe that we can do this in our own homes now. I know I'm a little bit late to it, but it's great. <laughs> After the curing, I noticed some small white marks around the letters. And when I did some research on it, I found out that I need to let the alcohol dry after the wash to prevent that instead of just patting it dry like I did. Alright, so I'm going to clean this up now and get it ready for another print for tomorrow. I also want to thank you for watching and if you got this far in the video, show some support, give a like, or leave a comment on any recommendations you have as I'm still very new to this. And thanks again, I'll see you next time.